welcome back now we will just proceed and start with validating few things here first of all you should know how to identify element on the page let's say i want to enter something into this edit box how can i do that okay so you have to provide a locator with which you should be able to identify this edit box locator in the sense let me right click and go to inspect basically when developer is developing the application they will provide some um, html attributes to that edit box you can get that edit edit box attributes if you simply spy on that you know these are the different html properties you have for that edit box so you have to build locator so that cypress can uniquely identify this edit boxes and if you are aware of selenium there are different locators like xpath css id class name tag name there are many but cypress only supports css selector i repeat it supports only css selectors technically cypress told that they will be supporting jquery um jquery selectors but jquery selectors are nothing but a css and it relies almost the way how css reacts so you can just simply conclude that cypress supports css selectors only so in this lecture let's try to understand how to write css selectors for any element given on the page okay now for example let's take this edit box as an example and try to write css selectors for it i will actually write it here so that you can have it so if there is an id defined for that element whatever you are trying to identify then css selectors can be written using id as hash id name okay so if you if you saw that right now here there is no id defined but if there is id defined for it just write hash and give the id name and that will become css selectors using id so basically css selector can be written in multiple ways using id if you want to write this is the syntax let's say class name and if you want to build css selector using class name then syntax is dot class name simple you need to just put dot before class name and that will be turned as a css for that specific element if you put hash um, before that word and if it's id then this is a css now class is such hyphen keyword right now css selector if you want to write for this edit box then you can simply write it as dot and the class name make sure there are no spaces in the class name if you see any spaces in between class name you have to replace that space with a dot okay but right now we don't have any spaces between it perfect so let's say that you have multiple elements with the same class name and if you want to identify that uniquely and if you feel that tag name is unique to for that class name you can also create css with tag name dot class name okay basically tag name is optional you can remove it and you can simply say dot class name but if you feel that that element can be uniquely identified only if with the tag then you can say tag name dot class name similarly for id as well tag name is optional but if you want to make it more unique and if you feel that there are multiple ids and then with that specific tag name you can call like this okay next so you have seen with id class name and next one is using any attribute let's say what are the attributes for this element type is one attribute placeholder is one attribute class is one attribute 
totally there are three attributes here so you can take any attribute and you can also write css for it let's say i want to use type attribute then syntax is tag name tag name is always optional okay attribute equals to value that's it simple so using this syntax now if i want to write css tag name is input it's up to you if you want to write or not um type input if i if you want to choose type attribute type equals to search this is one kind of way to write css you see that as i told there are multiple ways you can build css and now here we have class name so this is one of the way to get css selector so that's why when you spy here you see that input dot search hyphen keyword is highlighted under this that's a css chrome itself is suggesting you with the css and if you carefully watch that css input is tag name dot class name okay which i just explained here tag name dot class name chrome itself giving you that suggestion cool right and this also works if you want to write with any attribute and there is one more way so right now we saw id let me remove this just assume that tag name can be written as a common and optional one and next one is to traverse through parent to child now for example i am here okay and if i want to come from this parent um to this child so i can simply traverse using the tag names in xpath we will traverse using slash but in css instead of slash we will give one space so this is container right um or i would take this form so form is the parent tag form space give a space and input is a child isn't it we are targeting this edit box the parent of this property is form so how can you confirm that if you close this and that is getting disappeared that means that specific edit box is inside this form so if you want to traverse from here to here you can also traverse using tag names so first write parent tag name which is form space and write child tag name which is input what we require and that's it this is a css in xpath we write like this when you have if you have experience on selenium same thing can be written as xpath like this but in css you have to give space instead of slash that's it that's the only difference okay so this is with tag names just traverse the tag names from parent to child with space for every tag S straight forward and this is like customized syntax customized with any attribute okay and if you have class name and this is a syntax if you have id this is a syntax so keep this four standards in handy and you can develop any css on your web pages using this four um tips what i have given here so i will teach entire course without deviating from these four there is one more called child attribute which i will talk later now just to confirm um download crow path plugin okay so you can just go and that comes with chrome plugin which will help us to um verify and get css selectors and xpaths okay so when you install that crow path plugin you will see something like this and if you spy on this and if you are looking for css right css here and then hit here and you should find yeah this is the css you know what this looks so clumsy right as i said css can be written in multiple ways so don't worry you have written your own css 
just follow these four standards and develop a CSS. And if you want to validate whether the CSS you have written is correct or not, you can type in this edit box and hit an enter. This should get highlighted. Let's see that. So class name is there dot search hyphen keyword, right? Dot and give the class name. Hit an enter. Perfect. You see that one element matching and this is the element. Now remove it. It's just a way to confirm if CSS is working or not. I will move the spy from here. And next one input type equals to search, right? Type here and hit an enter. You see that this is getting highlighted again. So that means the CSS, whatever you written is valid. So this is how you can confirm. But with Cypress, you have additional way to confirm if the locator, whatever you have given is correct or not. Um, let me open Cypress editor. Okay, so from Cypress test runner, if you select the test, whatever you have written a base in the last lecture, that will open the URL, right? So from test runner window as well, you can get and inspect the objects. So that's the beauty you have with Cypress. Let it complete the run and I will show you that. Okay. So we have successfully navigated to rahulshettyacademy.com selenium practice and test is done. So now look at here open selector playground and this will also help you to get edit box. Okay. I will show that in my next lecture on how to take advantage of Cypress test runner to get and inspect your CSS objects for any given element on the page. Okay. Thank you.